one common problem you'll find with older drums, especially ones that are wrapped, is that over time the wrap will become all nasty and grungy and all discolored. So if you look where the lugs were, you can see how much wider it is, and that's because the lug protected it from the sun, the air, and whatever else it was that this drum was exposed to. But cleaning up an old wrap is actually pretty simple, so the first step is to take all the hardware off of the drum and then clean it. So cleaning the drum is not going to get rid of all the discoloration, but it will help a little bit, and it all depends on how bad the drum is. So I would recommend using Windex, but I actually don't have any. All I have is this glass cleaner, so it should work, so let's get to cleaning. So the drum is clean, you probably can't even tell, but if you look at the paper towel, you can really see that there's a lot of dirt, a lot of grime on it. So now let's get to restoring the white. So to bring back the color of the wrap, you just need some sandpaper, so I have some 400 grit, and then I think this is 600, I really don't know, it doesn't say, but compared to 400, I think it's 600. Then I have some 1200 grit, and then 2000 grit. You will also need a foam sanding block, and we're not going to use the paper that's on here. We're going to use this paper and just wrap it around this. And the reason for that is because this is foam, it'll contour to the radius of the drum. And then to finish it off, we're going to use some car polish. So actually, instead of using 400 grit, I switched to 180 because the 400 was too fine. I was going to use 220, but I actually ran out a few days ago, so I'm using a 180. So you're seeing me sand just back and forth, and that's the easiest way to get off a lot of material at once. So once you start to see that the color is coming back, you want to switch and go to a swirling motion so that way you don't get any streaks. And the key to doing this type of work is to take your time. The more you sand, the better it'll look, especially with the finer grits. You only want to use the coarse sandpaper to get rid of the discoloration, so once you start to see that the color is coming back, that's when you want to switch to the other grits. And now also it's worth mentioning that I'm only doing one part of the drum, so that way you can see the comparison. Also, I'm going to rewrap this drum, so I'm not going to take the time to do the whole drum. So I'm kind of just doing it for the sake of this video. But if you're doing a whole drum, you want to start with one grit, do the whole drum, and then switch to the other grit. So I just worked through the grits, and I have a little bucket of water next to me, and by wet sanding, that helps you get a better, smoother finish. So here's the drum after the sanding. I sanded this strip right here, and honestly, it's like impossible to get a good shot of this, but if I turn the exposure down, you can see that the center strip is wider than the outsides. You can sort of see it better now, but after the sanding, there still is some like microscopic scratches on it, so now we need to polish it. So I meant to get a buffing attachment for my drill, but I forgot. So I'm just using a microfiber cloth to apply the polish and then buff it out. But if you have a buffer, then you can totally use it. So again, this is like impossible to film, but you can see the center strip where I sanded is white, and then around it, it's still brown and nasty. Clean, dirty. Clean. Dirty. Clean. Dirty. And clean. So yeah, this is part of my drum restoration series. I have a whole playlist on other topics. Also, if you have any topics that you want me to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about it. So definitely be sure to check out that playlist. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.